around its lean, growling stomach with both hands. Grimgar <laughs> pried it yeah, from his crimson red <laughs> breast, removing small patches of flayed flesh from his chest in the motion between the squalid black claws of the starving beast. Nice. Holding the rodent at arm's length, he cupped his right hand, one word, right hand, over its frothing face, contracting <laughs> His fingers into wow. a, yeah, there's no A in contracting. <laughs> Contricting his fingers into a vice-like fist over the quivering head. Retaining his grips on the rat, Grignard, lowercase g, flexed his outstretched arms while slowly twisting his right hand clockwise and his left hand counterclockwise motion. Look, they don't no comments on that. The, the road is let out a tortured squall. Squall! <laughs> <laughs> a squall's a snore, right? Yeah. Okay. The rope let out a tortured squall, growing scarlet as it violently dug its foam-flecked fangs into the barbarian's sweating palm, causing his face to contort to an ugly grimace as he cursed beneath his brayish. You know, I think, I think that sentence was deliberately constructed to see if you could say it without spitting all over it. <laughs> With a loud crack, the rodent's head parted from its squirmy torso, sending out a sprinkling shower of crimson gore. I'll be really impressed if you can do that. Trailing <laughs> a slimy string of disjointed vertebrae, oh, esophagus, and jugular disjointed hyoid bone, the rose purple stretched high and blood seared muscle. Mmm, meat's back on the menu. Flinging <laughs> <laughs> the broken body to the floor, Grimna shook his blood streaked hands and wiped them against his thigh until dry. <laughs> then wiped the floor and showered his face and front his eyes. Again sitting himself upon the jagged floor, he prepared to once more revamp his glum meditations. Really? He's gonna meditate? <laughs> he told himself that as long as he still breathed, the gust of life through his lungs, hope, was not lost. He told himself this, but found it hard to comprehend in his gloomy surroundings. You're really starting to get into the story. <laughs> Yet he was still alive. His bulging sinews at their peak of marble. His struggling mind floating in a marvel of impressed excellence of thought. Is that my nose? My <laughs> Myrel, M-I-R-A-L. Okay. Plot after plot sifted through his mind in energetic contemplations. I think we're, we're up to about 15 minutes of the hour. Okay. Uh, you want to, should we continue, have somebody else up, or? Somebody else wants to continue. You want to get yeah, This is yeah, the downside of reading first. Um, I'd say we go for about five more minutes. Okay, let's start with chapter five. Yeah, it's what we're. Okay, who's going to take over? Wait, is this the way? Is that part of the part we're sticking, skipping or not? Up to the altar and be done okay. with the punch. Oh, wait. Oh, it's, there's a punch right. involved in one of <laughs> <laughs> Bring forth the wenches. Okay. How many wenches do we need? Uh, you really can't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say one at the moment. Oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, this is I'd rather get me away from you. Oh, one time I messed up. <laughs> you want to take over? No, no. Okay. I'm no, you're a doing a wonderful job. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about being a wench. You're only going to identify this. Come to the altar the and be done with it, wench, ordered a fidgeting shaman as he gave the female a grim stare, accompanied by the wrinkling of his lips to a mirthful grin of delight. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love this shit. <laughs> the girl burst into a slow, steady, <laughs> stooping shakily to her knees and cringing woefully from the priest with both arms wound snake-like around the bulging jade jade shin. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Around the bulging Jane Jane Shin, rising before her scantily attired figure, her face was redly inflamed from the salty flow of tears spouting from her glassy, dilated eyeballs. <laughs> the short, heavy foot fouls, F O O T F A L S, foot fouls, the priest approached the female, his piercing stare, never wavering from her quivering young countenance. Halting before the terrified girl, he projected his arm outward and motioned her to arise with an upward movement of his hand. The girl's whimpering increased slightly, and she sunk closer to the floor rather than arise. <laughs> <laughs> the flickering torch's outlines were 
a trim build with a weird ornate glow as it cast a ghostly shadow dancing in horrid waves of splendor over smoothly worn whiteness of the marble, marble hued altar. The charming's lips curled back farther, exposing a set of blackened, decaying molds, which transformed his slovenly grin into a wide, greasy arc of sadistic mirth. <laughs> into the female, a strong sensation of stomach curdling nausea. <laughs> Have it as you will, female, gloated the enhanced priest. As he went over at the waist, projecting his ape like arms forward, and clasped the female's slender arms with his hairy round fists. With an inward surge of, of his biceps, he harshly jerked the trembling girl to her feet and smothered her salty wet cheeks with the moldy touch of his decrepit, uh, dull red lips. The body of the shaman's hot, fetid breath overcame the nauseated female with a deep, soul-searing sickness, causing her to wake her head backwards and regurgitate a regurgitating God right. Holy crap! A slimy, orange-white, one word, stream of swelling gore over the richly woven purple robe of the enthused acolyte. Yeah. <laughs> the priest's lips trembled with a malicious rage as he removed his callous paws from the girl's arms and replaced them with tightly around her undulating neck. Shaking her violently to and fro, the girl gasped the tortured groan from her clapped lungs. Her sea blue eyes bulging forth from damp sockets, cocking her right foot backwards. Oh, you're gonna love this. She leashed it desperately outwards with the strength of a demon possessed, lodging her sandal foot squarely between the shaman's testicles. <laughs> Wide open in a deep chasm. I guess that's how you would say it. C H A S I M. Chasm. <laughs> His face flushed to a rose red shade of crimson, eyeless fluttering wide, with eyeballs protruding blindly outwards <laughs> from their sockets to their outmost perimeters, while his lips quivered wildly about, allowing an agonized wallow to gush forth as his breath billowed from burning lungs. His hands reached out, clutching his urinary gland. <laughs> wobbled rapidly about for a few seconds and then buckled, causing the ruptured shot to collapse in an end hurdle mass to the granite pavement, rolling helplessly about. The pathetic screeches of the shaman groveling in dejected misery on the hand hewn granite laid pavement, worn smooth by countless hours of arduous sweat and toil. A welder of Icar oozing through his clenched hands, attracted the perturbed attention of his comrades from their foated eulations. Oh, oh, sorry, sir, I was foated a eulating. The actions of this, this rebellious wench bespoke the credence of an unheard of sacrilege. Never before in a lost maze of untold eons had a chosen one dare I tell you, to demonstrate such blasphemy in the face of the cult's idolic deity. The girl cowered in unreasoning terror, helpless in the face of the emblazoned accolade's rage. Her orchid tussled face smothered betwixt her bulging bosom as she tried her curled lash, tightly hoping to open them and find herself awakening from the I still have my, my face smothered in my bosom. <laughs> I just read it. I know. <laughs> Yet the hand of destiny decreed her no such mercy. The antagonized pack of leering shaman converged intensely upon her prostrate form, were entangled all too lividly in the grim web of reality. Shuddering from the clayey touch, not clammy, my 
daily touch of the shaman as they grapple with her supple form, <laughs> hands wrenching at her slender arms and legs in all directions, her bare body being molested in the midst of a labyrinth of orange and yeah, purple right, yeah. satin and mango <laughs> shadowed in an eerie crimson glow, her confused head reeled, then clouded in a mist of enshrouding ebony as she laughed beneath the protected sheet of unconsciousness to a land peach and resigned. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you, everyone. 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 Thank you, everyone.